Greetings Builders, Daniel here and welcome to another Top 3 video where every week I choose a topic and show you my 3 favorite builds of it. Today's theme is for the chaotic ones, I'm talking about the chaos builds, and if you wanna try any of those you can find links for POVs and complete guides in the video description. And if this video helps you, please give a thumbs up to support the channel. Thank you very much and let's get into it! Let's start with this explosive build that achieves huge amounts of single target damage with low investment, the Hex Blast Mine Saboteur with the Shadow Class. Hex Blast is a very interesting skill that deals a lot of extra damage if the enemy it hits is already cursed. Besides that, it also creates a big pulse of damage that destroys all nearby monsters. That's why it's important that our enemies are always cursed. To reach the pros of this build, I would start with how powerful it gets with low investment. With cheap and easy to find items, we're going to make bosses disappear with your mind chain reactions. Part of that is because Hex Blast can naturally shock, freeze and ignite enemies. And if that wasn't good enough, it also considers the lowest resistance the enemy has before calculating the damage. This build is also very fast and deals a lot of area damage. It's super satisfying to clear maps this way. Above all, you can throw your mines from a long distance and stay far from danger. Now to list the cons I will start saying that mind game play isn't for everyone, some players just can't get used to the detonation mechanic, but trust me, it's worth giving a try because mind builds have huge potential. Another issue is that this character is not very tanky, because of that you need to always mind your position or you might die. As for budget, this build is cheap, you can get it destroying early end game maps with only around 70 chaos. To comfortable advanced 3 yellow maps, I recommend investing around 150 chaos, and for easily completing your atlas, I recommend investing around 4 divines. Don't forget that on poebuilds.net you can find a list with all the equipment that you need to buy for this build, with direct links for examples being sold by other players. You only need one mandatory unique item for this build, a profane proxy ring that causes one of your skitter bots to have a curse aura. This way, the enemies you hit with your Hex Blast are always going to trigger the big area damage increasing a lot your clear speed. For clear speed I'll give this build 9 out of 10, you are very fast and your mind explodes in a big area killing many monsters at once, it's very comfortable to clear maps with this character. The boss damage is also amazing and deserves 9 out of 10, you can stack many mines and delete bosses with a huge detonation, this build has an incredible single target potential, even on a low budget. For the survivability I'll give it 8 out of 10. Even though you have armor evasion spell suppression and can throw your mind from a big distance, this build is still not very tanky and needs to stay still from time to time to deploy the mines. That's why I took 2 points out. Next we have a build that is a beginner's dream, the Toxic Rain Pathfinder with the Ranger class. This build uses the permaflash and chaos damage of Pathfinder to deploy many powerful pods that drain the life out of your enemies. To list the pros of this build I would start with how easy it is to put together, you don't need any mandatory unique item and the leveling is very simple. Another great feature of this build is that your flasks are going to stay up all the time, even on boss fights, and the life regeneration from your life flask will be eternal, making the damage over time look like a joke to you. This build is great for beginners because you end up having great clear boss damage and survivability with low investment. Now to list the cons, the main issue of this build is mana. Since we are dealing with a damage over time build, we cannot reach mana or life. Because of that issue we need rare rings that reduce the mana cost of skills. As for budget, you can get it destroying early in game maps with only around 100 chaos. To comfortable advance to yellow maps, you need to invest around 150 chaos. And for easily completing a Rattlers, I recommend investing around 4 Divines, where you can totally do it with less. For clear speed, this build gets 9 out of 10. As a Pathfinder, your quick silver and silver flasks are going to have more effect and be up 100% of the time, granting a lot of attack and movement speed. Also, you only need to deploy the pods once and they will drain surrounding enemies, granting a smooth gameplay. The boss damage also gets 9 out of 10. Combining your strength with Toxic Rain Totems, bosses just drawing countless spots. Even the big bosses are going to melt like butter before your eyes. For this survivability, I'll give it 9 out of 10. This is because this build has high evasion, high armor, and spell suppression. Also, your defensive flasks have more effect and are up all the time, even on bosses. 
Above all, you can use Toxic Rain from a safe distance and it spots heavily slow down enemies. Finally, we have an amazingly strong endgame build, the Poison Raging Spirit's Guardian with the Templar class. This build takes advantage of the high number of Raging Spirits you can summon to stack an absurd amount of poison on our enemies. Originally, I was trying to build it as a Necromancer, but with the Guardian, you lose just a little bit of damage but get almost 3 times more survivability. To list the pros of this build, I would start with its boss damage. Once the build is complete, you are going to kill even the biggest bosses in just a few seconds. The survivability is also amazing, since we can have all the defensive layers of a Guardian on a minion build that is already very safe to play. Now, to list the cons, I'll start saying that this build isn't for everyone. You need a lot of currents to put it together. Another issue is that Raging Spirits have a short duration and you have to often stop to resummon them. As for budget, this build will need at least 10 Divine Orbs to put together. As I said, it's an expensive one. You need 4 mandatory unique items for this build. The first one is the United in Dream Sword that grants the Envy Aura for a big amount of Chaos damage to our minions. It also grants them 60% chance to poison on hit. We also need a Darkness in Front Bell that has two Abyss Dual Sockets for us to achieve a 100% chance to poison on our minions. Next, we need a Covenant Armor that grants our Raging Spirits a level 29 aided Chaos Damage support. This means a lot more Chaos Damage. Finally, we also need the Ancient Skull that grants a huge damage and attack speed boost to our minions. For clear speed, I'll give this one 9 out of 10. Even though we have many fast minions that destroy everything in seconds, they have a short duration and need to be resummoned all the time. That's why I took 1 point out. The boss damage totally deserves 10 out of 10. You easily end up with over 30 million DPS that is more than enough to decimate every boss in the game. For the survivability this one is surely a 10 out of 10. As a minion build you already stay far from danger, but with this one you also caught with many defensive layers from the Guardian Ascendance that grants this build the amazing amount of 250,000 effective HP. And that's it for today guys, what did you think about those chaos build? Please take a second to tell me your thoughts in the comments and leave a thumbs up to support the channel. I wish you guys an amazing day and don't forget to keep building!